Coming up on Special One TV, sacked. BBC terminates Sven's contract after unacceptable comments heap disgrace on the program that's become a national institution. Wayne, your initial reaction? Crashed, fallen, just came out of nowhere. More on that story later. Meanwhile, you've been doing it to me even more intensely this week. Why not? It's my birthday. Thanks for tweeting me, poking me. 48 years, a champion. Get anything nice for your birthday? Of course. Socks, scarf, and another bayor from Real. Oh, that's extravagant, that is. But back to the story that dominated the world of football this week. The BBC have acted quickly in removing the least well-loved host of the world's most popular phone-in slash magazine show, Special One TV. The termination of Sven's contract is effective immediately. It comes after a series of off-air remarks by the hapless Swede were leaked onto the internet. The comments, made while covering a Championship League game, were deemed to be so unacceptable and so wholly misjudged that Special One TV is currently awaiting legal advice on whether the audio recording of the tapes can be broadcast before the end of today's show. Meanwhile, Wayne looks back at Sven's career. The colourful Swede is no stranger to controversy. With the management career which has taken him from Scandinavia to England, on through Mexico and into deepest Africa, before finally washing up in Leicester. And an equally colourful broadcast career which has seen him land in hot water on more than one occasion. The question has got to be asked, can he come back after this latest shame? And joining us in studio is current England manager Fabio Capello. Mr Capello, thank you for coming all the way from Italy at such short notice to join us. Have you ever seen anything like this in Italian football? No, in Italy, no football man would say these things. What he say was wrong, wrong, wrong. Mr Capello, thank you. Let's get some reaction on the phones. Mr. Alex, thoughts? Well, it's disappointing for the lad, but if you say things like that, you're going to get found out sooner or later. Line two, Roy. Yeah, poor judgment. 25, 30 years in the game. Mm. I wouldn't let him walk my dog. Caller from Blackpool, go on. Well, if you want to be a top flight manager like we are, you simply cannot say things like that. I'm flabbergasted. Go ahead, caller, you're on the air. <laughs> Line three, David, you're a very close friend of his. Go ahead. Well, I wouldn't say very close friend, but we have had occasion to work together before in a professional capacity, so obviously I'm gobsmacked for Sven. Did he ever say things like this when you were working with him? No, never. But to imagine he was thinking things like that makes it even scarier. Mm. Mick, you're in shock. What heck? I'll be watching me P's and Q's in future, that's for sure. But he didn't think he could be heard, Mick. I learned a long time ago, hmm? when you're doing TV, take it for granted that your mic is always open. Thank you, Mick. Line four. Voyeur. Hello? Nothing, love. Just another one of them stupid S1 TV phone interviews. Whoops. Hello? Hello, Mick. Sorry, forgot to hang up. What is all this about? You mean you haven't heard the news, Voyeur? Some of us are busy winning League Cup semi-finals. We don't all have time for the circus that you put... I'm sorry, Voyeur. I'm going to have to stop you there. I am just receiving confirmation that we have been given clearance to show the unedited footage of Sven. We must advise viewers that you may find these scenes disturbing. Like you, I'm hearing this for the first time, and while I am disgusted, I'm not surprised. Yeah, appalled. I mean, you think you know someone who shouldn't be shy your day in, day out, and then they come out with stuff like that? Horrific. Call a line three. Oh, well, I regret my comments, but I can't understand how this whole thing blew up into a frenzy. Shut I mean up, Sven. Be champions. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. I know. Game's gone mad.